Recent results from the Dark Energy Survey and Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument DESI, suggest that the universe's expansion may not continue forever. According to Cornell physicist Henry Tai, new models of dark energy indicate the cosmos could eventually slow down, stop expanding, and collapse in a big crunch. If correct, it challenges the long-held assumption that cosmic expansion will go on eternally. In this video, we'll look at the evidence behind this prediction, how it redefines our understanding of dark energy, and what future observations could reveal. Let's get started. For more than two decades, the standard Lambda CDM model has described a universe that expands forever, driven by a positive cosmological constant, Lambda. The term Einstein introduced to represent the energy of empty space. This constant dark energy explains why expansion accelerates rather than slows under gravity. However, new analyses from the Dark Energy Survey in Chile and the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument in Arizona are prompting a re-examination of that idea. These programs have mapped millions of galaxies, measured distances, and tracked how the expansion rate has changed across cosmic time. When combined with observations from the Planck mission, a subtle deviation appeared. The data fits slightly better if lambda is negative, not positive. Physicist Henry Tai revisited the equations with this new evidence. His calculations show that a negative cosmological constant could allow expansion to continue for billions of years before eventually halting and reversing. In this picture, dark energy is still a property of space, but its effect weakens slowly with time. According to Tai's estimates, the universe, currently 13.8 billion years old, may be roughly halfway through a 33 billion year lifespan. It would keep expanding for another 11 billion years, reach maximum size, and then begin contracting. About 20 billion years from now, everything, galaxies, matter, and even space-time, would collapse into a single point, a big crunch the mirror of the Big Bang. Tai's study, published in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics, doesn't claim the end is certain, only that new data are consistent with a negative lambda. If confirmed, this would overturn one of modern cosmology's most stable assumptions and imply that cosmic acceleration is temporary. A negative cosmological constant would fundamentally change the framework of cosmology. The Lambda CDM model relies on a positive, constant vacuum energy that pushes space outward forever. If Lambda is negative or evolving, the universe's expansion will one day reverse, forcing scientists to rethink both cosmic history and the underlying physics of dark energy. Tai and collaborators link this behavior to ideas in particle physics and string theory, which naturally predict that vacuum energy can vary. Their model introduces an ultralight axion-like field, a particle that acted like a cosmological constant in the early universe, but has since evolved. As this field slowly changes, it reduces the overall energy density of space, effectively turning lambda negative. This approach provides a possible bridge between cosmology and quantum field theory. It replaces the idea of dark energy as a fixed, mysterious force with something dynamic and physically motivated. A changing vacuum energy could also help ease the Hubble constant tension, the mismatch between expansion rates measured locally and from the early universe. If dark energy's influence has weakened over time, it would slightly modify those measurements, bringing them closer together. The concept of a negative L isn't entirely new. Some versions of quantum gravity and string theory models already include anti de Sitter universes where the vacuum energy is negative. What's new here is that Tai's calculations suggest current observational data may actually prefer such a universe. Not everyone agrees with this interpretation. Many cosmologists caution that the signal could be statistical noise or a result of measurement uncertainties. Nevertheless, the possibility of dynamic or negative dark energy is worth exploring because it's testable. 
With larger data sets and improved analysis, researchers can determine whether this is a real physical effect or simply a mathematical curiosity. Either way, the discussion is reshaping how scientists think about dark energy. It's no longer seen as a static number, but as something that might evolve, or even reverse, over cosmic time. If the cosmological constant truly is negative, the ultimate fate of the universe changes dramatically. In the current positive lambda model, expansion continues forever, galaxies drift apart, stars fade, and everything ends in a big freeze. An eternally cold, empty universe. In Tai's negative lambda model, the expansion is temporary. As dark energy weakens, gravity gradually takes over slowing the expansion until it stops. Then, contraction begins. Over billions of years, galaxies would start moving closer together. Cosmic background radiation, now cooling, would begin to warm again as space compresses. Eventually, matter and radiation would collapse into an ever denser region until, in the final moment, everything converges into one singular point. The Big Crunch. This scenario doesn't threaten the present-day universe. The timescales are unimaginably long. But it has major implications for how cosmologists interpret current data. If dark energy evolves, then every key parameter in cosmology, the age, curvature, and expansion history of the universe, must be recalibrated. The next decade will be crucial for testing these predictions. Several powerful observatories are already gathering the necessary evidence. Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile will soon begin its Legacy Survey of Space and Time (LSST), tracking billions of galaxies to measure how expansion changes over time. ESA's Euclid Telescope is mapping the geometry of the universe to study dark energy's behavior. NASA SphereX mission along with continued DESI operations, will provide high-precision spectra to refine measurements of the cosmic expansion rate. Together, these instruments will help determine whether dark energy is constant, dynamic, or trending negative. For theorists, the implications reach deeper. A negative cosmological constant means the vacuum of space isn't stable. Its energy density changes slowly with time that would connect cosmic scale behavior with the quantum structure of the vacuum, uniting cosmology and particle physics in a way that's never been directly tested. In that sense, the Big Crunch isn't just a distant ending. It's a scientific lens through which we can study how the universe behaves on every scale, from the smallest quantum fields to the largest cosmic structures. Dark energy may not be constant after all. It could be slowly weakening with time. If so, the universe's expansion will one day reverse, ending in a big crunch. For now, it keeps expanding. But its fate may already be written in the fabric of space itself. Mm -hmm.